You're trying to play me. Like, hello. What? If it ain't broke, then don't fix it. What's up? It's Ashika Lee here. If you're new and if you're not, welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to get another video, y'all. So before we get into anything else, today's motivational quote is, you might be overwhelmed right now, but do not forget that you are meant to succeed. Just keep moving forward and trust in God. As y'all can tell by the title, this is going to be an updated makeup routine. Y'all haven't seen me for a while. Like, y'all haven't even seen me do my makeup for a really long time. And I know that y'all have been wanting the video and the content. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I have not been in the mood to just, like, sit down and just talk and do my makeup. But I was in a mood today. Okay, so we got it done. So, as y'all can tell by the title, this is an updated makeup routine. Um, I have been trying a lot of new different products, a lot of different techniques. So um, I came up with this technique for myself and I've been using it ever since. The products as well, they are chef's kiss y'all, chef's kiss. And they are really good, all of them. Everything that I'm using on my face, it's things that I stand by, okay? Haven't switched up yet, but I'm still open to trying new products. So like I said, updated makeup routine and new techniques, new products, and yeah, let's just jump into the video but I just want to say if you're watching me and you're not subscribed to me then I'm gonna need you to pause the video like right now yeah right now hit that subscribe button leave a comment down below and then come back can you do that for me thank you with all of that being said let's just get into it y'all can tell y'all I feel like this video is long overdue I'm so cheesy because I'm so excited to just finally get this video out for you guys. It's been a long, long, long minute, y'all. Like a heavy, long minute. I'm so excited to be doing a makeup tutorial. I don't even remember like the last makeup tutorial <laughs> that I did. I don't know if my routine has changed. Well, I would say my routine has changed like quite a bit with my makeup tutorials. Not makeup tutorials, but like how I do my makeup. Um, it's definitely not the same. I have picked up on some like trends from social media and stuff. So, and some like new products, if you will. Yeah, some new products. So, yeah, we're just gonna get started because I'm like really excited right now. First things first, PSA. I know y'all see my tan line, right? So, that's because y'all know I be wearing wigs non stop because I have to promote, promote promote right so with that being said <laughs> me wearing wigs and then you know trying to have my hairline out it's yeah yeah that's that's what that is in case any of y'all were wondering like girl watch your forehead to tone that's why okay all right so first things first we're going to start off with primer and i'm going to take the milk makeup hydro grip primer and i'm sure y'all have seen this primer almost everywhere it's not new like the girls have been going crazy about it and it's some hype to this like I really love this primer it's very sticky and it just does a really good job at you know allowing your makeup to stick on your face really good and all throughout the day so I just apply this all over my face now I normally don't apply makeup on my forehead but because we have this two-tone situation going up here we want to do something about it <laughs> so I'm gonna rub this in so after that's done, y'all know normally I be going in with like three different primers, but I'm telling y'all, one and done. One and done this time around, okay? Next, we're gonna move on to the brows, and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. And I have become like a very natural brow girl. So this is what we're doing, and I'm not gonna lie. I only got this because of Monet Mitchell, but I got this from her because every time she does her makeup tutorials her brows just look amazing so I was like you know what let me try it my brows ain't that full but I think we can get somewhere with this you have to get the brush separately and it's like a spoolie on one and then this is the brow palette at the other end Dip into some of the product like this on the brush just comb 
through my brows with the product just like this and then if you need more go ahead and add more so once you're combed through as y'all can see like the hairs are starting to kind of stick together which is the look that this product is going to give you so if you don't like that look then obviously there'll be no reason for you to do this or even purchase this but me personally I've been liking this look so I don't know if y'all can tell the difference but this eye brow is definitely more raised up and more lifted and that's the look that I have been liking lately and then you take the palette side and then you just press it in like so and I like it it just looks really natural it looks like you haven't tried to do anything to them and yeah like I said that's just the look that I've been going for one thing I like about this is that if you have put your brows in a place and then you don't like how it looks afterwards, if you go back in to try to like change the shape of it, the product itself won't get flaky. Like all of the other dupes and hacks that we've been doing, like the um the dual lash glue or the got to be, like it gets flaky and hard after a while. This doesn't. And with our brow pencil, it's been my go-to. So once this runs out, it's back to go get some more, okay? So this is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 5. Right underneath my brow. And then if there are some areas in between that are too light, I'll just go in and shade that in a little bit. Then I'll also like touch up on the front just to make sure that everything is filled in nicely to even color and just like that we have our brow simple easy doesn't take long brows are giving very light and fluffy and on occasion sometimes i'll just leave my brows like this or sometimes i'll go in and um carve out underneath we're gonna see what i want to do um Right now, I think they look pretty good, so I think we're just going to keep them like this, really natural looking. And next, we're going to go into concealer. So, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Warm Sand. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply this to all the areas that I would normally go in and conceal. This is going to be my base, and this is going to, you know, start that makeup process off of our, like, foundation. So, underneath the eyes on the nose and around my mouth because I have a lot of discoloration around this area and then also on my chin. And normally I'll use a beauty blender but I have been transitioning into my brushes a little bit more because I don't know I feel like they just add a little bit more coverage to the face. They don't take off too much as opposed to um, beauty blenders. Now I'm going in with the Real Techniques brush. This is their concealer or setting brush. You can use it for whatever. And I'm going to start with underneath my eyes first because the longer this sits around my mouth, the more full co coverage it gets. This has got to be like my favorite concealer ever. Like it just blends so good and it does a great job with mixing with like other products as well. Like it's just so bomb, y'all. I don't think I would ever, ever switch up on my girl Too Faced because this best concealer ever. So I try to keep as minimal product on my forehead as possible because like I said, my forehead is darker than the rest of my face and yeah, it's just not necessary because the forehead gets contoured anyway. All right, so now that the first layer of concealer is done, we're gonna jump into the next steps apply your other concealer so this one is a brighter concealer in the same Too Faced brand and this color is in the shade sand and I actually use two concealers with the second step I use my Too Faced in sand and then I use the elf um, camo concealer in the shade medium peach and this one is really bright and it gives me like that really bright highlight so that's what we're gonna do what I like to do is take the elf concealer right in the corners of my eyes like so y'all see how bright that is i know i know i know i know don't worry and then we're gonna take the sand one which is still a brighter concealer than before but it's darker than this one that we applied and i'm going to put this underneath so that it can create like a very nice blend 
And then this is a concealer that's going to go everywhere else. Right, so now that we have this combination going on, I also like to go in with my contour right now. And I'm using the Hourglass Foundation Stick in the color Chestnut. It's just a beautiful warm brown and just gives me the perfect contour. And y'all, this foundation stick is chef's kiss. I'm going to apply that. And then we're also going to take it on our jawline. on the sides of our nose. So for foundation, I'm using my favorite foundation ever. I actually need to re-up on this and I also wanna try a few more other foundations as well. So yeah, we gotta head to Sephora soon. But this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Tahoe. I apply it on my fingers first. I'll do like two pumps and then I'll just rub it in on my fingers just to get it a little bit more like warm and loose so two pumps and then i'll just use my fingers and pat that in right there like so start with our concealer under our eyes because that's been sitting the longest and i'm just going to blend this out the same way i did the first set of concealer so as y'all can see it's already given me like that sculpted look but Y'all saw how bright this concealer was, right? This really bright one. Obviously, it doesn't look that bright because we added the other darker concealer around it. So now we don't have no harsh white line. So that's the key for me when I'm doing my makeup. Um, just really blend the concealers and just make sure that everything is coming together nicely. Now time to blend out everything else. I'm going to start with my foundation first. Now to blend out the rest of the contour and y'all know contour underneath your jawline is going to give you like that chiseled look and it's just going to snatch everything together. It's going to create the illusion that you have a strong jawline and I need that illusion y'all because my double chin be trying to embarrass me. <laughs> process all over just really blend out so what I'm doing with this bronzer is I'm pushing in and also just going with the natural motions of where it was placed at and then yeah just I don't I'm not taking it down too far into my cheeks because as y'all can see y'all see that boom and you don't need a lot of this product y'all because it's very pigmented like hourglass that they're big one with that one like and it's such an oldie. I remember when like makeup was like really popping on YouTube. All the girls was using the hourglass because it's so good. And I just never was able to get it because it was just so much money. But you know, we doing bigger and better things. And now that that's done, I just really take the excess products and then just apply it on my forehead just to really like get rid of the two-tone so the two-tone is not going to go all away like drastically like you're still going to be able to see it but we're going to cover it up enough you know to where it's not like super noticeable so now the nose i just use the same brush and kind of squeeze it together and really just use the side of the brush so that i'm getting that straight line that i want and this works for me and also, I'm using less brushes, so. How is she looking? Like, I feel like we're looking so good. Definitely, we're looking really good. So, next, y'all, this was a step in my makeup routine that I was just really excited for. And I've actually gotten into using liquid blush. Like, I'm, I'm obsessed with it, y'all. It gives me the look that I desire and it stays on all day okay so i'm gonna be using the rare beauty blush and this is any shade lucky it's this really vibrant hot pink blush and when i say you don't need a lot of this you do not need a lot of this like this is really pigmented y'all so 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 pigmented and the the bottle is just so cute like it's so cute i really just wipe off as much as i can and then we just do two dots of this on our cheeks like that 
And I'm not gonna lie, at first, like when you're getting into liquid blush, it definitely gets a little scary sometimes. <laughs> Cause you don't want to like overdo it because like i said the products are just really really pigmented uh, i'm gonna go in with my brush and we're just going to blend this out and we're gonna drag it up as well because i really love that look it just you know brings everything together really nicely do y'all see this and on to the other side. Now that our face, our foundation is pretty much like set into place and everything. Now we're going to go in with our powders. Because now we have to set everything in fully. Now we're going to set everything in place because we have to. Everything is really wet on our face or like creamy you could say. And we just want to keep everything nice and set. So, I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl True Blend. This is their bronzer in the shade 400 Ebony. And I tell y'all, I picked this bronzer up one day and never put it back down. This bronzer is so pigmented, y'all. Like, it's a beautiful color as well for, like, melanated skin. The bronzer isn't red. It's not too brown. Like, it's perfect. You're just going to apply this all over the areas that you applied your cream contour too and you know truth be told when i get to this point in my makeup sometimes i go i debate if i want to add like um blush or not because the cream blush just does a great job like y'all can still see it and i just don't want to be adding too much and then it just starts to look crazy <laughs> We like crazy a little bit, so we're going to add some blush. This is the same brand as the bronzer. This is the CoverGirl True Blend So Flush in the shade 380 Temptation. And just like our liquid blush, it's like a hot pink. If you compare the colors, like it's really close in color. So this is going to give us that beautiful pink blush, rosy cheeks that we desire. And like I said... I really just tap this in because if you tap too hard now, hmm, it's definitely going to be too much, okay? So next, we are going to set our concealer. And I'm going to be using two things to set my concealer, okay? So first and foremost, for our concealer, this is also a new product um, for me. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth um, baked face powder and this is in a shade 35 bronze um, this color does really good for my concealer as y'all can see like it's gonna do a good job of setting it and y'all this this powder is amazing when it comes to like setting everything is just gonna look really nice and smooth and I'm just applying this to all the areas that has concealer y'all tell the difference look at this side and look at this side can you tell because I can. And this side is giving everything. Next I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey. And this is going to actually set our face. And because I already used the Micro Smooth Powder, I'm just going to literally just tap into it. And then tap off the excess like this. And then just tap off the excess powder. Because we don't need a lot because we just set our face. But this is going to add a little bit more highlight, if that makes sense. Morphe Continuous Setting Mist to do this. This is my go-to. Y'all know this. As long as y'all have been watching me, I don't think that I've ever switched up for too long on this thing. Okay? Because this is a goodie. Quick spritz. I'm not going to lie to y'all right now. My little tan line for my wigs, it looks worse on camera. And I really feel like you're trying to play me. You're trying to play me. Like, don't do that. Guys, I'm going to use my Too Faced palette. And I'm just going to dip into this brown shade, y'all. Just this brown shade. And then to blend it out, I'm going to dip into this orange and this tan one. That's it. Hello. What? Super pigmented. Super pigmented, y'all. Super, 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 super. Super pigmented orange and that brown and we are going to blend out the top of this 
So as y'all can tell, this just looks really good. And now for our lashes. I've only been wearing one brand of lashes lately and that is the La Flair 3D Mink Lashes, y'all. And they are $10. And every pair of lashes and every pair, like every style that I get from them, obsessed. Go ahead and put the glue on these and I'm gonna show you guys how I have been putting on my lashes lately. Okay, so now that that is done, we're gonna go in with the same glue and we're going to apply it on our lash line as well. So I've been doing this hack for a while now and this just makes it so much, so much easier to put your lashes on as well because the lashes are going to stick to what is already sticky. Okay, and this is going to have them last all day. So just want to get as close to your lash line as possible. It's the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara and this is my go-to. Also going to apply the same mascara on my lower lashes. I've just been loving the lower lash line look. I've looked like been wanting to try that um that trend where they clump their bottom lashes together, but I'm a little scared. I don't want to look crazy, and I feel like I'm going to look crazy. So I'm going to do this really quick, and then I'll come back so that y'all can see the difference with how they look. And so, yeah, y'all can obviously see the difference of how good this looks. As y'all can see, my eyes look a little bit more open on this side, um, and that's because the bottom lash line is more enhanced, and that's just the type of look I like to go for it. Now, I don't do this every day, and if I do do it, this is how it looks. And if not, then I'm just leaving my eyes just like this, or I'll do some eyeliner. It depends on how I'm feeling and what I'm wearing that day. Both eyes are done, and it just gives my natural eye color like a pop of color as well. I don't know. It brings it out very well to me, so if it ain't broken, don't fix it. But I do have a few like new lip products that I have been using every time I do my makeup. So for lip liner, we're gonna use a dark brown um, lip liner. This is really pigmented as well. Actually, let me use my handheld because I want y'all to see. So we're gonna go in with the Nova Beauty lipstick in the shade Tone and it's just like a really nice nude color and I love my lips to look like really bright but still have that dark liner around it because it just gives me the most like seductive look, you could say. <laughs> I don't know, it's just my preference. I really like how it looks. So I just put this on. And y'all know like I'm not like a lipstick girl. I really love my, um, my glosses. So you could keep it like this if you want to, but for me, we are gonna take it up a notch going to go into my new favorite lip plumper ever. It's the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Heat and this is in the shade O2 because I can't say the actual name of it on, yeah, but bomb y'all. Lips be tingling and it just makes me feel like my lips just got two sizes bigger. <laughs> it just enhances it a lot. Now, and then I'm going to go in with my OG, my go-to. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie, and you can't find a shade anywhere. And once I found this shade one day, I picked up like four of them because I cannot run out of this, okay? This is literally my go-to. And my little touch-ups that I do is I just go back in and just kind of darken up all of my molds. Not all of them, but most of them. To darken up my molds, I go in with my... NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner and I use one in the shade brown and one in the shade black. Alright y'all, so as y'all can tell, we are pretty much done. Makeup is complete. I am feeling cute, I'm looking cute, and I told y'all this is like my updated everyday routine and this is really what I do every time I do my makeup. Like it just looks so cute and I'm so happy that I've been trying out like new products, becoming a little bit more like out there with doing new things to my face as well. Like even the order in which I applied my products, like I'm happy that I've been trying new things out. 
So, yes, y'all, this is the finished look of this makeup, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Also, leave a comment down below and let me know what other videos that y'all want to see makeup-wise. Um, and if y'all have any topics for Chit Chat Get Ready With Me's, that's definitely a thing, too. I would love to get back into doing those. So, again, if y'all have any recommendations, makeup videos, any content y'all want to see, vlogs, cooking, whatever y'all want, just let me know. And I'm going to make it happen. Okay? I'm going to make it happen. So, with all of that being said, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.